Today is August 8th, 2023. Some, uh, you know. All right, so we're gonna go. Yesterday, I go out to my clients in North Canton. Some old ass, off in the distance yelling. I heard she works with people. It's not allowed, she's not allowed around people. I'll take care of it. He ain't gonna do anything. I could go work in a daycare. I could go work in a daycare. I could sign up, work with a daycare. FBI passed my background check and they wouldn't care I was there. Huh? I could go work in a daycare. And they would pass me. You want to play? I could go sign up and work at a daycare and they wouldn't care. They don't care I'm a DSP. Working with a handicap, they're like the second most protected people in the United States. They don't care I work with handicapped people. Hmm? Asked me to pass medications too. Got a certification for that. Now, would they care if I was in a daycare? No. Where do the hell do these people think they are harassing victims? Hmm? Your husband's cheating on you. And he get, gets a new psycho bitch girlfriend. Hi, Daddy. It's my new boyfriend, Dave. We used to talk his wife, yes, baby. So, he kicks him right door. I watched the stalking tapes. Oh my God, that wife had sex with my boyfriend. Had the drug guys go over there and drug her up, beat her, and rape her. Yes, baby. This looks bad as you pick up, wake up with bruises, throwing up, heart racing, headaches, almost passing out, a severe swollen personal infection. Psycho bitch. Am I in trouble for psycho bitch? No. And then it happens again. And drug her up and tell her to she's a weirdo this time. Teacher, talk to my boyfriend. I don't even know she's, he's cheating on me. That's how bad it is. I don't know what's happening to me. Am I in trouble for psycho bitch? How do you know all that? Oh my God, she had sex with my boyfriend again. Because a new girlfriend's stalking me. Her and her freaky family. Photoshop that shower scene. Make her look weird and crazy. Yes, baby. It's clicking and pasting. Am I in trouble for Psycho Bitch and Psycho Bitch's family? No. He should have arrested Psycho Bitch and Psycho Bitch's family. Now, see, that's where Memorial Day weekend 2019 at the food count. Older white woman with an African-American man screamed it out. For Walmart to hear Memorial Day weekend 2019. For it's my daughter, her husband dates. He met her in Ravenna when she was having a stomach spell. It was for my daughter. They did all this for. And our family watching her doing this. Right. I found sad. She was in there and March 13, 21 at Altman Hospital harassing me and the front of Altman Hospital with the people with the fake FBI badges. Got in the back and lied to Dr. Alan and Tina's. Okay. So, let's see. She was also in Walmart, again, during the case. We called Will. We explained the show, and he understood. And he said it not. She'd never get any money ever, and we did. Why did Walmart? They were friends. That's where they acknowledged Pete on the phone. Because why did he arrest him? There's conflict of interest. A retired judge has no authority. He can't go around stalking people in their homes, drugging them up, telling them to say stuff, and, and photoshopping things, trying to extort money. Are they crazy? And those agents on a reported line, a reported line, acknowledge them. See, where I called the hotline, 
They drugged me up so bad I couldn't get up the next day. And phones ringing, tears running down my face. I kept saying that. Like, well, let it go to voicemail. Wake up later, listen to it. Tears still running down my face. I can't. Okay. And then the third day made myself get up. And I'm sitting on the front porch holding my head. What's wrong with me? They're drugging the hell out of me. I gotta get air in my face. I gotta call that guy back. Okay. Uh, and I got out the uh, lawnmower out and I start mowing the lawn because I was too afraid to leave the property. And <clears throat> I thought of Sarah. So I called I I called Sarah and of course I'll witness for you. So I got cleaned up, went out and got her card, put that agent's number on it, made an excuse to go down to the mall for it. We went to church. Uh, we got up to Apostolic Church of Barberton, Paul Pamer got in Dave's face. My God, I had an FBI agent in my office. He's right there. I walk off, how dare you bring the FBI up here with threats on her life? Women walk up, he knows she's being drunk, being raped. He said he didn't care. I go in and I sit down. And um, they come in and say it again. You know, she's being drugged, beat, and raped. Said he didn't care. Can you imagine an agent saying that? And he said, if she was going to be thinking she was sick and thinking she got well while that family was grieving, he didn't care what they did to her. Dave comes in, let's go. We got in the car, I had to kill you myself, and he's threatening my life and swinging at me in the vehicle until I almost dropped out on the highway. We get home and I run home. Next day, I try to call that agent back, and I, uh, I'm crying rivers of tears. I told him, I said, someone told on me the night before. You liar. It was him. It was verified by officers, November 6, 22, at Tornado Gospel Investigators, that they uh, had found the protected custody case, and then they were talking about the agent that called me back. It was verified by officers there that he told on me before I called him back. Okay. I told him about the guy that threatened to knife me at Giant Eagle and called me a liar. He's a serial killer in the swear area. He killed my uh, co-worker, Lori, her family member, cut her up in pieces. Uh, and he took uh, my house manager, Merlisa's niece. And he, he's part of the drug traders that are human trafficking people. That's who that call hired. Okay. Um, I told him he tried to kidnap me before he called me a liar. Terry let me tape her with her permission. She's seen her. Uh, we all have the same story of the same people. Okay. Um, let's see. And he, he called me a liar. He's like, was there a camera above the bench when that guy threatened and I feel, I don't know. Dear God, I almost passed out. I was already dizzy when I sat down on the bench. I hear his voice and I'm freaking out. He comes up and threatens to knife me. I had to catch my breath. I almost passed out and the, I caught it. And then they're arguing about go ahead and stab her. I won't make it out for the security guard. And I turned my car into uh, the bank and got in front of someone. And I'm trying to tell him that. And the Pizza Hut lady getting paid to watch me. He's screaming at me that I'm a liar. Male bankers screaming at that lady for that and I how oh, it's big chaos scene. He's calling me a liar and he's screaming, if you don't say you're lying, I'll put you in jail. It's like fine, whatever. And then he's like, Why would the FBI help a person like you? I said, They're gonna kill me. So they've tried to kill me. So he's a cop. And it's so made me beg for my life and it, while I'm begging for my life some idiot yells out well we could always use Pete's tapes of weird with yourself I went what's going on He's, he started giggling stop she don't know because it's a shower scene he says something else about Pete's tapes and the guy starts giggling stop she doesn't My ex-husband Dave told Danny April 15, 16, or 23 that he hired Pete on his own. 
There was no court order. It wasn't the cop. It was his girlfriend's dad and drug friends. Drugging me up and roofing me and telling me to say stuff and photoshopping shower scenes. The girlfriend's dad was he got hired to stalk me and frame me. What was that agent to do to them? Arrest them on the spot. Me, and then I told him about my brother-in-law, Craig, that worked at the Pentagon. He listed me a foreman with 5000 a month. Uh, even when you tell, I opened an account today. Uh, and uh, we'll always put it back as if it never happened. And you can't be legally charged for nothing, again, for working this case. Even when you tell. And you'll have that money to live on. And then he flip-flops. He said, if you tell someone, I'll list you crazy and no one will help you. I told my friend that worked at the prosecutor's office, he giggled till he had tears in his eyes. He was chuckling. He's like, that agent can't talk to you like that, and the police can't go along with any of that. The only thing legal he did was list you an informant with money and immunity. They can't, he can't talk to you like that, and the police can't go along with it. They know better. He can't bully you into false statements under a threat of arrest. He can't. Uh, even ask you to stay quiet on anything. I said, but they already knew. He's like, I don't care. He said, there are only higher cops. They don't have the authority to even ask you to stay quiet. It takes a sitting judge to put a gag order to take your freedom of speech away. I said, well, they already knew. He said, I don't care. He said, you can be in any witness protection program. You can tell whoever you want. And they can't say a word. It takes a judge to take your freedom of speech away. They can't even ask you to stay quiet. You can tell whoever you want. See, we don't live in a communist country. He was trying to, he, the only thing he was doing was trying to bully you into staying quiet so they get away with it. And he said, and the cops know they can't go along with it. He said, and as far as the FBI, they can never legally drop you. He said, once the government agrees to protect you and they put you in a protection program, they can't unprotect you. They will go to jail for it. He said, uh, he said they can put you in another witness protection program, but they have to talk to you first. They owe you that money and you'll be in immunity the rest of your life for you'll have a life of peace as an informant. Nothing legally stated, dated against you again. He was supposed to make sure no one was ever to touch me. Okay. He said, I open an account with 5000 a month. And I'll start growing today and you'll have it to live on when you move out and from now on for working this case. And when, even when you tell, we'll always put it back as if it never happened. And you can't be legally charged for anything again. And then does that crazy threat. See, he can't list me crazy. He can't do any of that. And he can't bully me into staying quiet. It's a no way out. You can't ask for help. You can't even call the cops. See what I mean? He did it. That's where Michelle's mother, we called Will. We explained Michelle. And he shut her up. She wouldn't get no money on this. And you're done. It's a big scam. He did it to defraud the government of money. There was a big $800,000 scam going on in Ohio. They just broke up. This is over 300000 If you put the human trafficking, they've made millions. Sunday in Cole, I in North Canton, I was in there. Two teenage girls were walking off to the site. They were talking about being in contact with my rapist. My rapist. They got fake up, and they talking about him being a federal agent again. I told you, these human traffickers have fake FBI badges. And said that he couldn't. So that's why he bought raped her and thought it was funny. He's a rapist and you're laughing that I got bought raped? What's going to happen to those two? And they, they were talking that he was a federal agent that did it to me. I told you. It's, They're human traffickers. What's going to happen to those teenage girls? They're going to disappear. A rapist is talking to them. A fake agent. What's going to happen to those teenage girls? Hmm? They're going to end up in a body bag, cut up in pieces like Lori's family member? Hmm? 
They bragged to her, they tied her up and cut her in pieces. Huh? Sold as sex slaves? Do you not talk to your t children? Do they not have enough common sense? Don't matter who the hell they are, they're rapists? And those are human traffickers with big FBI badges. I'm going to upload this. People need to get some common sense. And they already said March 1st to 3rd of 23 and by the nail polish inside Walmart 62 that they were using the case to human traffic people. It's a big drug scam. That's where my friend from the prosecutor's office is fraud scheme. He said, where they kicked in your door, they probably did set up on cameras. They can never use it against you. It's illegal to be in somebody's home no matter what, but protect a lie case. This was statements where uh, you had bruises you couldn't explain, throwing up, dizzy heart racing. They probably were drugging up and telling you to say something stupid under roofies. Uh-huh. And he said they could never use it against you. They made a mistake. They did it in your home. Nobody could ever look or listen to it. He used to be in the prosecutor's office. It's a fraud scheme. I have a... My one friend went to Ohio drug dealer two hours away and asked him if they knew what was going on. It's a drug scam from the drug dealers, human trafficking people out of this area. It's a big drug scam. That's why June 7th, 23, Walmart 62, Lighthouse Tabernacles, and they're mocking FBI agent Don. FBI agent Don fell for the stunt on the tapes before? Oh, come on now. That agent actually fell for it? It was only a stunt. You mean John actually fell for it? You're kidding. FBI agent John fell for the stun on tapes before. Ha, 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 ha. Told you, November 18, 22, one of the drug dealers, Eric, comes in. All the tapes before were me, not her. It was my idea to come up with it, my idea to say it, my idea to do it. For all these people, turn on their phone. Ah. June 30th, 23. No, we're, I'm in Massacre's Park, and they're talking about the guy running. It's real socialite, how he fooled all these people into helping out, steal everything she had in life, with his stunning tapes before, and they all fell for it. It's a big scheme. And they have July 9th, 23, in Trinity Gospel, sitting behind me and my client. The FBI would dare fix this after what one of their agents said. People are being dying. They're taking, they sold the case. And when they admitted to selling the case, they're selling federal information and technology. And they wouldn't fix it. And they have that agent dead to rights for badgering, obstruction to justice, tampering with witnesses, tampering with evidence, acknowledge of knowing a woman's being stalked and framed, and giggling about it, and then embezzlement of $300,000, and they wouldn't fix it, and they have them dead to rights. Oh, I told the Oversight Committee. I've told the Department of Justice. I told the NSA. They have that agent dead to rights. And acknowledging they already knew before I called them back. 